it is your boy the American F1 fan Eric Ringel here and the sprint race from Austria has ended and I was gonna maybe do a little race recap but I thought more in regards I wanted to talk about my opinions on these F1 sprint races in general and I said my uh, my opinion of the sprint race this morning from Austria and I I feel like it has gone for just about every single sprint race, barring maybe one out of the five that, that F1 has held so far, that these sprint races aren't doing what Formula One was hoping these sprint races would do, you know, and adding a little bit more, you know, spice to qualifying and, you know, uh, maybe adding a little bit more of a racing element to the qualifying sessions. It really hasn't done that. And I'm going to be totally frank with you. I think the sprint races are totally boring as hell. I mean, the one exception that we got was in Brazil last year when Lewis Hamilton qualified, uh, was forced to start last on the grid, was able to fight back to fifth. But I was looking through the results from the five, uh, from the five sprint races that we've had so far, including Austria. And there's just, there's one thing that I think it, it all boils down to is the, the sprint races are too long. You're literally, you're getting what you would get in a regular race weekend within the sprint race. You know, they're, they're running, I think it's like 62 miles um, or 100 kilometers for each sprint race. And you're getting the exact same results that you would typically get within your actual race, which is, you know, between 50 to 70 laps. You're getting that same result. I mean, I'm going to just flash up the results from the five races that we've had in sprint, sprint sessions so far. And the one thing you're going to see is the time discrepancy between, you know, first all the way down to last or, you know, first to sixth or whatever the case may be you're not getting that exciting racing like you were wanting to get out of Formula One. And I'm going to be totally frank. I think Formula One needs to either do away with the sprint races or they're going to need to, to change them up a little bit and maybe not make them count towards qualifying and where you're going to start on the grid. Like maybe make it its own separate champ, like small little championship to where like, you know, especially because we're getting six sprint races next season. Change it into a, like a little mini championship and, you know, qualifying will count for both the sprint race and, you know, the regular race. Wherever you qualify, you know, in qualifying, you're going to start there in the sprint race and then in the regular race as well. But like Formula One needs to do something to spice, spice up these sprint races. And I think that may be the only thing other than to just do away with them completely. It's just... I find them pointless. I, you know, I would, I, as much as fans may say, well, you know, it's better than having a third practice session. I mean, I'd re much rather watch a third practice session than to basically watch what you're going to probably see most likely in the race on Sunday, which is, you know, one driver may dominate the race for the most part and pull away and then you get this big time discrepancy. I'd much rather watch practice than to watch, you know, a boring sprint race unfold. But guys, let me know what you guys think in the comments section down below. What do you guys think about the F1 sprint race format that Formula One brought out last year? Is it is it really exciting to watch or is it some one of those things that maybe Formula One just tried to gimmick the sport up too much and they just need to throw out the back door? So guys, let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think. Slap a like on this video. As always, subscribe for daily and weekly Formula One content on my channel. And guys, for the American F1 fan, I'm Eric Ringle.